If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be doing two things in this video. First, I'm going to be ranking the four heroes and the best one I think you should choose, which is super important because of course you can go ahead today and go ahead and play some house rules, play some solos and get your hero as quickly as possible. Now, there's four of them, I will be going over the rankings through this video. And in the second half of the video, I will be more or less going over how to get footballs, how to spend footballs and the best things to spend them on and like the math breakdown we did behind the scenes for them. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give a big thumbs up as always. Can we get 200 likes on this video? If you haven't already, guys, if you want to see all the content aspect, check out this morning's video of all the ultimate kickoff info and kind of everything that did go down this morning. Now, in terms of uh, the rankings, guys, head on to the auction block. Let's get to all. Let's go check out all four of them. I'm sure you guys one by one the ones I think. I'm not gonna go too much into reading into stats. I'm gonna just tell you why I like them, why I don't like them. I don't want to like waste your time. You've probably seen the stats 100 times. Kind of don't want to beat a dead horse there. But guys, real quick though, if you guys do need coins to pick up any of this stuff, remember there's a lot of stuff out there. Byron Jones is a must-have, pretty expensive. The set's kind of expensive. If you guys need coins, go down below to muttreserve.com. Coins are currently discounted, so if you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off your order, so make sure you take advantage. But guys, let's get into this. So, coming in number four, who do you guys think? Comment down below real quick. Who do you think my least favorite one is out of the four? It's going to be Linville Joseph. Linville Joseph, 88 overall is my least favorite one in this. It's pretty simple. He has bad speed, which is okay because he's defensive tackle. But then you look further, he has zero pass rush. He's a pure block shot. Now, people might say, oh, good. Well, I only use my defensive tackle on running down, so that's fine. Yes, but it's good to have a pass rusher because even though you might think it's a running down, it could be a flash pass. It could be an RPO. It could be a few things that still might require a pass rush. Not to mention, it's just a waste. Like, there's guys like Merlin Olsen who have both good block shot and both good pass rush so why why hinder yourself here i think linville joseph is the worst of the four and it's really not that close i think he's by far the worst one number three guys todd Gurley. todd Gurley's not the he's not he's not horrible but in terms of the other ones and their usage rates like bo jackson is better barry sanders is better work done is better ezekiel elliott's very similar yes you can power him up which would make him better than a few other guys but again, you could also power for work done in Zeke, so the, the sentence stays the same regardless. Now, the issue with him is that his excel is good, his agility is great, and his carrying is great. Change of direction is okay, his truck's okay, and break tackle. He's a very similar to Zeke back. Like, he's very similar to Zeke in terms of, well, not in real life, but in terms of the way Madden does make him. Very similar to Zeke. Now, they're good. I still think we have the greatest options. And to have a nat running back that, like, if you're going to get a nat running back, guys, he has to be far and away the best. Like last year when the Mud Hero Saquon came out, we took him as our Nat guy because he was far and away the, the best running back. This year, Todd Gurley is not even the best. He's not the second best, and he may not even be the third best. So in that in that case, you're taking a Nat player that's already outdated and may even be more outdated as time goes on. So I wouldn't take him. Coming number three is Yannick Ngakwe, guys. Yannick Ngakwe is a great, great option now. For the competitive top tier best Madden players, maybe not because you want the dual purpose, can run stuff, can block shed, can pass rush, can get abilities 90 overall. For the casual Madden player, guys, he's a better Joey Bosa. And that's just the truth of the matter. He's a 92 finesse move. Powered up and chemed up, you can get up to a 96 finesse move. So already in this point of the year, 96 finesse move, even a 95, 94, 93, depending on what you got in chems. With 80 speed powered up, 85 excel, great play rec, great tackle, and a 94, 93, 95 finesse move, whatever you end up having on cams. He's going to be one of the best, he's going to be one of the, if not the best pass rusher in the game. He doesn't get edge threat, which is going to hinder him a little bit, but for the casual Madden player, most of you guys don't have that anyway. So, Yannick Ngakwe is a great, great option in many, in many regards, guys. I really do like him, and you get two, so, I mean, you get one uh, from the free ones, and then if you do the set, you get you can get another one. So, that's what I'm saying. If you do the set, you can even take two, which is good for these two. And then my first one is Trent Williams. That's pretty simple. He's left tackle. Now, you got to compare him, right, to the best left tackles in the game. Now, I don't have the best left tackle, but I do have, I mean, I don't think. It really depends on who you guys de de determine the best left tackle. But Joe Thomas is up there. Now, in terms of strength, Trent Williams is better. Awareness is worse. Pass block, he loses in. Pass block power, he's better. Pass block finesse, he's worse. Run blocking, he's better. Run block power, he's similar. And finesse, he's less. Now, Trent Williams is slightly worse than Joe Thomas. Slightly. But Joe Thomas is 180K. Trent Williams is free. So for me, I think you take the left tackle because for multiple reasons. A guy like Gurley is outdated. A guy like Yannick Dockway is good, but a better pass rush will come out. A guy like Linville Joseph is just horrible, but his defensive tackle. But the thing is, how many of you guys actually do like buying left tackles? Like, how many of you guys actually go ahead and like, all right, I want to buy a left tackle. You People hate spending money on their line. Sure up the line in an early time where a lot of people don't have a lot of linemen or a lot of coins. Sure up the offensive line. 
get it going, get a great left tackle. You can even move him to right if you really wanted to, although I recommend keeping it left. But I think it's just a great option. There's a lot of snipes here, by the way, guys. I recommend you hop on this. But in my opinion, I think it's just a great option to go ahead and do that. That's my four. We got Limbo Joseph, Todd Gurley, Yannick Ngakwe, and then Trent Williams. Those are my four in that order right there, guys. Make sure to go ahead, and I actually might pick this up for the set I want to do later. I'm going to snag that. This seems like a pretty good price right there. Okay, so moving on to the football aspect of the video and the best ways to get them. So first off, guys, you want to go ahead and go to your solo challenges. Get those. I'm going to go over how many free you get before I go over the best ways to actually spend them. Now, if you're headed over to your solos, the ultimate kickoff solos, you do get in the milestones. After the math, you get approximately a little over 100 because you get 25, 25, 25, uh, 20, which is 70, plus 15, which is 85, 95, 105, 110, 115. So you get 115 total trophies there. Sorry, footballs. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be hard to call them footballs for some reason. So you get 115 footballs. And then if you come over to House Wars, guys, you get approximately, I believe it was 65, if I'm not mistaken. So you get 65 total. Now remember, there will be another House Wars next week. There may be more, more solos. So totally you're going to be looking at a little over 200 total. So you're going to be short of pretty much everything in the store that's decent. But remember, to cut the difference, you can always go ahead and either A, wait for some more stuff to come out, or buy a player, use the remaining, and then cut the difference. Now, we'll go over that. Now, for me, guys, there's three things in the store you can buy here. There's the 81 to 85 overall ultimate kickoff player, ultimate kickoff hero fantasy pack, and team performance token. Now, there's three ways to go about this. First off, guys, starting from left to right. Left is a gamble. Pretty much to return value in your coins, you're going to need an 83 plus pull. So this is the gamble, guys. This is where you go ahead, you gamble it. You can get 381s and just lose all your trophies and get a decent return. Um, you can go ahead and you can turn that. You can maybe pull like 385s and again, double your return. But that's the risky one. Then we got the ultimate kickoff hero fantasy pack. Now that is the guaranteed value. That is a value of about 150k right now, depending on after you know, after reduction. 150k guaranteed. Get your card. Now you are going to be short about 400 uh, footballs for the time being. Of course, things could come out, things could change. But right now you're going to be about short 400. Um, once you, you know, after next week and everything. So, you can go ahead, buy a card, maybe like 100K worth of uh, footballs. And then when you do it, you end up making about 50K, right? So, that is your guaranteed value. Now, this is the long-term the long term goal. Now, the issue with this one is that, again, you're still short. But the, the, this one is going to be the one where you want to be like... And remember, it's not all about the free ones. You guys also going to get players, quick sell them. But in my opinion, you want to make sure you're also making coins while doing these. Now, this last one, the team performance token, from what the math we pretty much did, the team performance token may not be worth it because best case scenario, like most realistic case scenarios, the Chiefs win 13 games or the Ravens, right? And then they lose three. So that leaves them at 10 total wins. So that's 10K minus the uh, 3K for the losses. That leaves them at 7K. They end up with 7K training. But that 7K, you don't get... For quite a long time and from the math we did by the time you do get it that 7k may only be worth like 100 230k worth of training so right now the best the better value is this one but then again this is also cheaper so based on the math it comes down to this if you want to wait and have played a long game you go with the team performance token but in my opinion take the guaranteed coins now coins now are way more valuable than coins later because later in the game people care less take the coins now they sell for real life money much more right now than they do later as well as they are worth more to most people right now anyways and people care more about the game now i'd recommend you take the guaranteed value of the ultimate kickoff hero fantasy pack if you want to play the long game you want to have fun and see how much it goes up you can always do that one if you have a uh, if you have this gut feeling something's gonna go 16 and 0 which is very rare and then there's this one this is the gamble if you're a reroll kind of guy you can go ahead and take that one that one's super risky that's pretty much all you can do with trophies right now but like i said guaranteed value here i'm gonna probably end up doing this one once i get all my trophies cut the difference do what i can do or even quick sell a player if i have some players remember also guys if the um there could be a pretty decent method if you do the hero set for Byron Jones and then you keep Byron Jones and you quick sell the two players and you go ahead and use the trophies. It really just depends on how the values work with that. But again, I will make a video on that later on. As we do get into it all, I'm super excited to do all that. I love doing those sets. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the whole trophy video and the uh, hero. So remember, Limbo Joseph, Gurley, Yannick Ngakwe, and then number one, Trent Williams. I already bought Trent Williams, as you guys saw there. I just picked him up. I'm going to go do the solo, try to get my free one, and kind of go through everything to do the set. Now, in terms of everything else, guys, um, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you need coins, head on over to Mup Preserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off already discounted coins. Good luck. Stack up some coins. Enjoy the kickoff promo. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to sub, subscribe, turn the notification bell, boys. Smash the like button. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.